Quality Western gear is kind of essential here in the Metroplex. One Dallas man and his family have spent decades crafting and branding some of the most authentic, sharpest, and trusted garments in town. Inside DFW's Landon Wexler brings us along for the ride. Here in Dallas's West End, Wild Bill's Western store has been a staple for over a decade, while Wild Bill's been serving up and crafting boots and hats for over half a century. All the magic happens inside. Want to check it out? People ask me, you know, what you can make a boot out of, and I tell them anything that wiggles, walks, or crawls, or slower than my boot maker, we can make a boot. So if you can catch it, we can put it on your foot. It's not just a look or a vibe. It's really a place and time that they're experiencing, not just the hats or the boots, but it's the experience. Authentic wear like, you know, boots and hats and, you know, it changes a person's personality sometimes when they put a pair of boots on and a hat. It kind of makes them walk a little, little different, a little pride. Uh, you'll see it sort of coming out in them. While Bill Dubree has been on Dallas's historic West End for years now, but grew up making boots. Now he's an encyclopedia on and a supplier of top quality Western wear. There's so many different boots that, that have different personalities, I'll call it. So, like a kangaroo boot would be very soft, and it's a skin that they, they made ball gloves out of because it was so, you know, so durable. You can get ostrich boots that are extremely soft. I mean, they're like house slippers, you know, they feel so good. Elephants, uh, that is a tough material, but yet it's still comfortable as well. You can get things like stingray which is stingray from the ocean is just almost indestructible. We have skins that we cut on with a knife and show people and scrape on it with a knife and you just can't, you can't scar it hardly at all. So Landon, I thought I'd show you a couple of different skins. Now, this one uh, is the alligators and what people don't understand is that when you do a pair of boots and alligator, it actually takes two skins to make a pair of boots. But of course, Western gear does not stop below the knee. The materials of the hat makes the difference. If you get like a, a wool hat, it, it works good, but it, you know, if you get a, to a beaver hat where it's made out of, you know, beaver, rabbit, or more pure beaver, it's, it's a better hat. It repels the moisture. We have to use more steam, but then once it's shaped, it holds its shape and holds its form. Well, why do you steam hats? And I say, well, it kind of lets you relax, like having a couple of drinks. And so you'll be more pliable. And what we do, we steam the hat, and then we're able to shape it and style it. Some people say, well, I want my hat to look like Garth Brooks. Well, some well, I want to look like George Strait. Well, some like, well, I want to be like Kenny Chesney. Well, okay, well, we'll shape that hat to your personality. And that's what the steam is for. It lets us do that. You walked us through what makes the perfect boot, what makes right. for a perfect hat. Right. But the people who have been in here, just in this chair, it's significant. I yeah, there have been some pretty significant people. I mean, you had people like Arnold Schwarzenegger in that same chair. You had Ace Fraley. You had, um, golly, Ice Cube, Kevin Hart. Uh, they've been in that chair doing some boots and stuff. Um, there's just, uh, you know, Eric Clapton was here uh, on several occasions, and he sits in that chair. We fix him up, so you're in good company right there. I feel that. I feel that for sure. I'm here in this chair for a fit. Yeah, we're going to, here's what we're going to do. Let me get you a couple of really what I call nice boots and let you see how they fit. Now, let me tell you how boots should fit you. It's not really complicated. There's a little rhyme I have. It's called snug in the instep, loose in the heel. That's the way a good boot should feel. I know it's a rhyme, but it works right every time. Loose in the instep. No, snug in the instep, loose in the heel. That's the way a good boot should feel. Snug in the instep, loose in the heel. That's right. Sounds good to me. Snug in step, loose heel. And there's a sound you're going to hear when you put it on. Now, when I put a boot on, I feel like it's not, is there a technique to it? No, you just pull, pull. Yeah, snap. put your fingers in the ear pull. That, you hear that sound? All right, all right, now sit, put your foot down, see how that feels. It's good to me, Bill. Snug in the instep, loose in the heel. Right on. Now, it was definitely snug in the instep. Mm -hmm. The heel, definitely loose. A Dan Post will fit different than a Luke Casey. A Luke Casey will fit different than a Justin. Uh, they're all a little bit different, and these are our custom handmade boots. I'd imagine it's not as easy to get off. 
Well, uh, you know, that's what they used to say. Boot cowboys die with their boots on. They can't get them off because it's a little bit snug because it forms to their foot. So, you know, especially if they've been had a couple of drinks, you know, <laughs> it's hard for them to get it off. Now, you're going to help this cowboy not Yeah, die yeah. Come on. Today. I'm going to show you. Here we go. <laughs> and you just pull up on that, and that's how you do it. There it is. <laughs> If you didn't know, well, now you know why the world flocks to DFW for the most authentic Western gear around. You know where to get the gear. For more information, you can head to CW33.com.